something's coming up. Oh, there we go. We're live. See me. Why is that sad? I forgot this because I muted. And are we live on YouTube? Yep. Are we? Why does it say that? Yep. Oh yeah, it uh, does. On restream. There we go. Oh nice. Cool. Are we <laughs> unmuted? Shall we get started? I think I'm already unmuted. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hello, everybody. Sorry, ap apologies for the lack of countdown tonight. Uh, we've uh, we've been kind of qu running quite tight to the wire, so we thought we'd we'd get started rather than sort of do another uh, 10, 10 minutes of intro for you. Uh, hello, everybody. You might be able to hear me as the disembodied voice. I am not Cat speaking. Uh, so I'm JD. Uh, you might have seen me last night. This is going to be a much more fun stream than last night. Cat I can guarantee speaking, you. Uh... Uh, and I'm also joined tonight by Cat, who is our debutant live streamer tonight. Hello, Cat. How's it going? How's it going tonight? Hello, how are you? I'm very good. We literally just talked before, so I already know. But <laughs> hi, <laughs> uh, I'm Kat. Uh, nice to meet everyone. I am the uh, assistant producer on TSW, and I've been at Dovetail for just a little over two years. Uh, but this is my first stream on for Dovetail, at least. Yeah, hi. Hello. Hello. It's great to see you, Kat, and it's great to be able to get somebody else into our streaming roster. It's uh, You've obviously channeled your inner map tonight with your uh, headset choice, which is great. Um, and uh, we've now got a Nat, a Cat, and a Matt, which go, is, yeah. which is great. So not confusing at all. Exactly. Um, so we might be uh, so just by way of introduction, um, we'll do a couple of more like introductory bits and pieces and what, what you currently um, what you're working on, Cat, or what you have worked on uh, over the course of the last uh, the last few months or so. Um, but tonight we're going to be doing a uh, livery designer stream. So let's make a livery. Um, we've done a couple of these in the past, and uh, we wanted to try and keep some of this stuff going. We really love to kind of uh, build up the uh, creative spark in in a lot of you guys at home because we we think is we think we've got a really creative and amazing community uh, so what we're going to do tonight is uh, is we're going to be building something from scratch uh, or uh, there might be a, a couple of here's one i prepared earlier kind of uh, elements to it but here's something that we're going to be uh, we're going to be building it out tonight and uh, cat will be taking you through the process of how she puts together um, some amazing liveries you might have seen some of the ones that she's done in the past is it dragonfly is the one that is the the big the big one that we featured right yeah at the start yeah that's the that's the one that got featured because i did have uh, we had Dragon Heart originally, and that accidentally got deleted. So there's one in the promo videos called Dragon Heart, which I made during uh, during testing and stuff. And when it actually came to releasing Creators Club, people were like, "Oh, can you upload Dragon Heart on the proper TSW, not just Preview Core?" And then uh, I went to look for it, and it somehow got deleted because I was doing loads of uh, I was doing loads of testing and mods and stuff, and I kept moving around the game file, so I must have accidentally deleted it. Let's see if I can find Dragonfly. Where's the search bar? Well, and, and also you've you've come up with the featured uh, Love to Ukraine livery, which is the one that you, oh, yeah. you put together as well. Yeah, that's my one, but that's on a different Dovetail account than I'm already on. I've got like six DTL accounts, I think, that I keep <laughs> accidentally, because I keep forgetting my password, so I just end up... Where's, where's the search option? Oh yeah, there he is. Yeah, that's Dragonfly. So that's on this account, and then Love to Ukraine was on a different account, because I think I had to be... Oh no, it is on this. Why am I called Cat on here? But then, okay, never mind. Never mind, never mind. In game, I'm called Babs. That's weird. See? Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> is that a bug? I don't know. Shall I submit a ticket? Uh, but yes, hello, everyone. Uh, first stream. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'll just uh, jump into it, I think. Yeah. Absolutely, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and I will ask you some questions as we go through, and then I'll nice. probably just leave you to do your thing, Cap, because uh, as I say, it sounds like you know exactly what you're doing. I don't know ex exactly what you're Absolutely. doing, uh, so <laughs> I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to kind of sidle off into the distance. Um, but it's great to have you with us, Cat and uh, Chat. Um, make make Cat feel welcome. It's uh, it's great to have somebody else, uh, a bit of variety on on our live streaming roster. Uh, so we'd like to, we'd love to, uh, for Cat to have the most positive experience possible, so she wants to come back and do some more. <laughs> be nice, <laughs> as always. Be nice. <laughs> be nice. Yeah, so I did have something prepared. Uh, like here's one I made earlier. Basically, we're going to turn this into a nice little art attack of, of TSW. I'm going to try and find my 08 that I made. Not you. Eight of hearts, fancy 08. Called fancy 08. So basically, I created this the other day. Because basically, I like, I really like, um, I really like shunters, but I always think that they look a bit, um, they always look a bit messy, a bit dirty, a bit overused. And they, they tend to, they don't tend to match like uh, the kind of grandeur or classiness of, of, of one of those fancy vintage 
cars. As you can see, I'm, I'm, I do not use the same kind of train vocabulary as, as Matt does. But uh, I really wanted to try and create something that looks a bit more fancy and a bit more uh, pretty. Um, so I, I went for a livery like this and I think I'm going to try and not just like recreate it like dead on, but create something similar, like a different color scheme uh, in the same class 08. Preferably, I'd like to have done the Cars 20. Uh, that's my preferred livery, but it's not actually in the livery editor because I think it's one of the preserve trains. Uh, and yes. I don't think all the preserve trains are in livery editor, which is a shame because I really wanted to wanted to do the Cars 08. But yes, we'll get started. Uh, yeah, just on that, uh, Kat, uh, Adam mentioned yesterday, I think it was right at the end of the live stream about some of the um, the preserved uh, locos not being in livery designer. I think the, the plan is to um, select a few uh, a time mm. just to try and see if we can um, we can put them through um but there might be uh there might be some work that needs to be done uh, in order to uh, get that to where we need it to get to so um yeah i think adam described it a lot better than i just did then so if you want to watch right at the yeah, end yeah. i think or the two hour mega stream oh, last night um then then that might give you a little bit more information yeah it's better than me just start messaging adam on teams being like can you just add this onto livery editor please i really want to paint, I really want to paint it in ice color <laughs> yeah oh i know shunters are meant to be grubby but i i do like i i it's tsw i like to make them look pretty so it's, it's what i like to do <laughs> so i'm going well, you, to hmm? you've got an art background haven't you cat as well which is which yeah is obviously great for something like this yeah, so I, I did, uh, what did I do? I did computer animation arts at, uh, what was it called? UCA Rochester. And uh, yeah, basically the 3D modeling and artwork there. Um, but ironically enough, I haven't had an art job at Dovetail. Uh, I started off in third party uh, as a project coordinator. Uh, and then I moved over to licensing for a year. So I got to talk to all our lovely friends at all of our train licensing companies or all our train companies uh, to try and get them to give uh, approval on uh on all the train licenses that we have and yeah that was quite fun and then uh, just at the beginning of this year i uh, just started in the dev as like the producer role i'm uh, really enjoying it it's it's a really really interesting uh game to be working on uh, and it's great to be working uh with matt as well uh and also jordan and adam yeah it's, it's, it's been good but yeah so uh we've got the blank kind of livery uh and i usually i tend to do liveries kind of in the same well not in the same way but i i have a formula so I'm going to start by choosing a base color. And then I always, always like lately, I've been trying to create a gradient on pretty much all of my liveries. So I always repeatedly use this. You probably notice I don't really have many, if at all, any mastery decals. I would like to get some, but I am not skilled enough for the mastery challenges. Ugh, but I will try and get some at some point because it would be very nice to have some more interesting decals so yeah i tend to go for i pick the original color and then i just maybe move up a bit brighter confirm that and then what we're going to do is just going to spread it wide and scale it yeah it's just using what's the option there yeah so you've got t like one two to you know vary your different options on how you want to edit the decal so on two i scale it this way so i can kind of distort it a bit more just place that so it can then turn over and look at the top. So it's made it nice and neat down the middle. And then what I'm gonna do is copy by C. I'm using these shortcuts, it's a bit easier. Edit the copy, because I'm not sure how to mirror. Like it doesn't seem to work for me. So I just copy it and then I just literally change side. And then that's like my little hack. And then I place that. And then boom, you've got a gradient. You've got the dark color underneath and then the top color on top. And I think it looks a bit messy on the grill at the front, but I think we'll just leave that. I think that should be fine. I'm sorry, I haven't been looking at the chat. I should look at the chat. Get Cat on the floor up challenge. Uh, that would be funny because I would rage quit, but I would love to try that. I've also been there, done that. You've been, been, there. been there, done that, Cat. Have you done that? <laughs> yeah. No, I would definitely. I think Matt was talking about a uh, what was it? A CSX. Is it the sandpatch grade four up challenge or something? We had to go around yes. the yard. I would be terrible at that. I get stuck on sandpatch grade all the time with the. It's like, oh yeah, couple onto that wagon over there and it's like five tracks away from you and you're like, how do I get there? <laughs> how do I get my train over there? But yeah, Matt's a wizard at it. But yeah, no, I'll definitely do that. I have actually stolen a prop from the office as well. Uh, I think I think you'll find this extremely annoying, JD. So this will probably definitely make you leave. Hang on. 
da da. I got a little train whistle with me, so when we get to drive deliveries round, I can actually do the li the little train whistle. <laughs> so, oh, that's. Oh, do you know what? Do you know again for, anno for annoying sounds? Uh, there was one of the four up challenges in which uh, I did uh, I did manage to leave the bell on for the entirety of the, yes! uh, the stream. Yep. So I know annoying annoying noises as well, and I'm sure the yeah. the, the chat will very much appreciate that as well. Is that the bell? You're getting you a lot of love for the whistle though. Oh, am I? Oh, nice. Okay, I'll do it again. Hang on. I'm really worried there's spider eggs in there or something. It's been sitting in the office for a long time. Uh, there was... <laughs> just like, just blow them out. Um, <laughs> no, I, I know what you mean, though. I, the first time I tried sound patch and then I went to ring, like, sound the horn, the bell just kept going and I was like, how do you turn off the bell? How do you turn off the bell? I was like looking at all the buttons, like, where's the bell? <laughs> and then I finally found it. Uh, <laughs> uh, so when um, I moved that around... No, I didn't move that around. I'm getting lost for words. But yeah, when I finally worked out how to switch off the bell, I literally switch it off every time now. You're meant to leave it on, though, when you're going slowly. I think you meant to. Okay, so I've made this, and I can't remember what I'm about to do with it. I think, yes, I'm going to make a long rectangle. What I like to do is that I like to frame the edges of trains. So I like looking for details like, I don't know if you can see it clearly, but there's this ridge that sticks out here. And basically, I like to... Uh, accentuate that a bit if I can get it on the right. You have stopped moving. That's because I am not using the arrow keys, am I? No, that's right. There we go. That was easy. Embarrassing that I took that long to sort that, but there we go. So now it should be all the way around the rim, I think. And again, I'm literally going to do what I did last time and I'm just going to copy it, edit that, P for options, change side, put it on the right side, confirm place and I think that's kind of added the little kind of it's meant to be kind of gold something I would like to see in uh, Libri Editor is to have metallic colors or metallic textures though I think that would take a bit more work because it would it would require more uh yeah to have the kind of metal shine it would probably require a bit more but yeah, and anything to get Dev doing more work. I think they they love me for that now. Joking. <laughs> yeah, it's not like they've not got enough on their plates right now. No, so. no, it's like a lot of them now. <laughs> I hope they don't watch this. I don't think they watch this. Maybe they do. I'm pretty sure Matt watches these. Oh yeah, no, I'm joking. <laughs> no, he's not feeling particularly well tonight, Matt. So uh, he he's, might not yeah. be tonight. Um, no, you mentioned so, that. Uh, yeah. Poor Matt. Get well soon, Matt. If you are watching, and if you are watching, get to bed. Get well soon. Yeah, you get to bed, Matt. Oh, bless him. Yeah, he, he mentioned he wasn't feeling well earlier. Because uh, he said his partner wasn't feeling well either. So maybe, I don't know, maybe there's something going around. I'm surprised that I haven't come down with anything lately. Uh, yeah. Went to the Model Railway Festival not too long ago. Did I make this already? I am not sure. Yeah, I went to the Model Railway Festival not too long ago uh, to represent Dovetail, and that was quite fun. Uh, Matt went to that too. Are those the two for the bottom one, these twos? Yeah. Yeah, so I went up to London. I went to Ali Pali. Uh, it was very crowded. And amazingly, I came out of that COVID-free. So I did very well. <laughs> I did very well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was, a it was a really fun convention. Okay, so I've kind of... I tried to make this... This colour looks a bit weird, actually. It looks a bit like tomato soup. So I just lighten it a bit. Or maybe make it a completely different colour. Or maybe I could make it black, actually, so it... Yeah, actually, best keep it black. I'll keep that black. And I'm going to change the other one so it's black. Okay. So, Kat, are we looking Are we looking to replicate the livery that you shared at the start, or are you looking to create another variant on that? I was going to create a variant on it, I think. Uh, that's what I'd like to do. Because uh, I quite like... I like to imagine it's, like a, it's the same variant. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm scaling it the wrong way. Yeah, I like to think it's, it's the... Uh, variant of the other logo may be made by the same company like it's kind of is a is a comp is a big train company i own a big train company this is my this is my universe <laughs> so. just, just moonlighting as a, a dovetail uh employee <laughs> yeah i actually own own don't own real trains i do think though it'd be very fun if dovetail actually bought a real train actually owned one <laughs> that would be fun <laughs> and then we can make our own livery but i don't think we've got the money for that when the, we want the, to make our game the company that I used to work at had a tank outside it, which was interesting. It was theirs. Uh, it was theirs. Yeah, oh, and wow. we we never we never made a game that related in any way to tanks or uh, or war or anything like that. So I don't quite know where that came from. But you just there had we go. it. That's pretty cool. Just had it outside the front. I think it's like intimidation tactics or whatever. And, uh... <laughs> That's 
very Bur funny. I think, it was, I think it was called Bertha. Bertha. Oh, they call Bertha, her Bertha. Yeah. That's a great name. I like um, female names for machines. I like the name, I think I, I like it from Portal, though, is Gladys. I always like the idea of having uh, a train or a tank or something called Gladys. Something quite feminine but intimidating at the same time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> traditional. That's the word. Like, like, like Gertrude or something like that. Gertrude, or... yeah. Beatrice. Um, what, what, what name are we giving to the livery tonight then? Oh, well, I've already named it something like Fancy something, but I should, yeah, I should give it a better name. Uh, okay, if we give her a better name. What do we call her? Chat? Should, should, we, ask the, should we ask the chat? Should we ask the chat? Yes. Come on, chat. I'm not being paid to think. You think for me. I would like a name for this livery, please. I'll put it on the right side so we can now s duplicate that. There we go. This looks funny. So we've got we've got a Dave, we've though. got an Eric, we've got a. Uh, I was thinking uh, women Mo names. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Mo Moggy in the chat says Mogina. Moggy, uh, Moggy, 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 by the way, loves Gronks and is a big fan of cats. So hey. we, he's right, right on the money so far there tonight. There we go. Yes. Uh, we need merch. Got Sapphire, mm. Frank. Sapphire uh, could be nice. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I just slapped a big cup of coffee. I hope that wasn't heard. Uh, little, little Bertha. Little Bertha could be nice. I'm trying to think what else is uh, next to do. Uh, where else I can add? So something else I tend to do now is now that I've kind of framed it a little bit, I just started off very simply like this. I want to now create a little pattern on the side for little Bertha, um, similar to the other one. Hang on a minute. If I can find, what am I looking for? No, I'm not meant to be placing this uh, anywhere. I'm gonna go back, there we go. No, that doesn't help. Oh yeah, I need to add one, there we go. It's not like I haven't played this game before. <laughs> I like the idea of making on the left side. See, I always work on the left side because that's where the light comes in. For some reason, the right side's really dark. But I like the idea of making, uh, trying to create a compass or like recreate a compass for the side. Uh, so I'm thinking, yeah. And when I'm making a pattern, I try to keep it at the same place that it spawns onto, if you get my meaning. So as I say, if uh, if I just, if I've made this layer here and then I move it to go, oh, no, oh, that's not right. And then I go to move it to like position it. And then I start to build the compass layers on top. I don't like doing that because then it means any other layers I add on top of it, uh, so if I wanted to add like a this diamond, it's already like not centered to it anymore. So if I can, I try to leave that alone. So if I go back, I need to go to my layers. Yeah, there we go. So I'll just delete that and then start again because I want it to be centered. So I'm going to leave that here. And then this time it means I can just gonna confirm that, leave that like that is. And so now when I add a new one, it should sit like directly in the center. And so it's kind of easier to center things rather than trying to eyeball, eyeball it. But I do at the same time eyeball a lot of it because yeah, you can't always be accurate. Sorry, try not to hiccup. Oh, so we're going to now, I think we're not actually gonna use that one. I'm not gonna use that shape. What I tend to do is copy it, edit, Make it white. Maybe I'm moving too quickly. Make it white. I'm oh, so down. I'm oh, so down. Ah, I moved it. Dang it. Okay, I did exactly what I said I wouldn't do. Copy, edit, change the color. Use that color. Confirm. Now we're going to scale it. I hit move instead of scale. That was a bad mistake. Actually, what does a compass look like? That probably that would probably help. Right, that that would probably be a good good opportunity to uh to, yeah. to maybe take a look and see what a compass looks like before we start making the livery. But yeah, I was thinking fancy clock. Uh, <laughs> Oh, okay, so we're kind of, ooh, okay. Kind of going for like this thing. Hmm, okay, so I'll get that off the screen. Okay, I have a reference now. Let me see if I can try and recreate that. Okay, we need to have some diamonds and stuff. But yeah, I think that's doable. So, uh, let me get back onto game. I'm gonna have to open two tabs so I can keep an eye on the chat and I can look at a compass picture before I forget what a compass looks like. There's something you'll learn about me very quickly, so I've got the memory of a fish, which is why I always keep a handy notepad on my desk with all the people I'm meant to chase. It's like my very own target list. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna keep that image up. I got okay. I got a pretty decent image to go off. Do I want this that color? I might switch the colors around. 
So I'll go for that colour. And I'll go to the outer one. And maybe I'll make that white instead. Yeah, that could be cool. And now what I'm going to do after that is now I'm going to plus... Uh, add a new shape. I'm going to go for the circle one here. Yep, left. Confirm. Colour. Confirm. It's not showing up. And I think it's because it's on top of the other one. Yeah, it is. That's why it wasn't showing up. Kind of looks like an egg, but a, a very strange egg. We'll do that maybe. Uh, Okie doke. I think that's cool. And then I might actually copy and edit another one. Change that colour. Make it the original colour, the base one. And then just move that out a bit so it's a bit like, oh, it's getting a bit dizzy looking. Uh, what am I doing? Okay. And then... Actually, I'm going to probably be adding some diamond shapes now. So shape. What one should I add? Hmm. Hmm. I'll go for... Yeah, I'll go for, I'll go for that one, I think. I think it's interesting trying to like work out how to because uh, I see some people on the uh, creators club who create absolutely insane liveries and I would love to know how they do it because there's some things I, I look at like some patterns and I think how on earth did you make that out of the shapes that you've been given on here okay oh yeah we could actually do it that way we could just make it a bit more narrow and then edit that or let's just place that copy that and then, should I rotate it? Yeah, I could rotate it. There we go, kind of. Ah, uh, it doesn't look... This is where the eyeballing comes in. Okay, it's really hard as well with all these ridges. You see, logo looks very nice, and he's like, oh yeah, it's coming together, and then you just look at it from top, like, oh dear. <laughs> but we can, uh, we'll just sort that out by moving it. Uh, definitely sort that out by moving it. Gonna add a couple more shapes underneath because we're gonna. Oh, actually, I'll do something even better than that. I'm gonna take these two and I'm gonna actually group them so they're now grouped. So now when I move it, it's you know in one place. Copy that, edit the second one. I'm gonna make the second one darker shade, I think. If I if it can let me, how do I change the color? What? Ah. Uh. Oh, you can't change the colour because it's a group. Okay, I'm silly. Uh, what I'm going to do is delete that one. <laughs> I thought I was being clever there. I completely forgot that once you group something, you can't actually... Uh, you can't actually change the colour. So I need to bear that in mind in future. I need to add... Where do I add it again? I'm losing... I, I keep forgetting things, honestly. Oh, that is kind Pressure of cool. entertaining, that's what it is. It is, actually. I'd say I'm, I'm a little a little bit nervous. I'm a little shy. So this is, this is great though. It's hypnotising watching this kind of thing. Uh, you're you're so quick with it, and it will probably to, to get to this point. I think I probably would have rage quit right now, <laughs> or, or I would have got to the point where I would have probably have just done the first colour change gradient, and um, it might maybe be a slightly horrible shade of uh, of dark blue or something. <laughs> it's I do I do think I've been moving a bit quickly, which uh, I don't mean to but i think it's uh something that i i've gotten very used to now the thing about me is that i'm a little bit impatient when it comes to artwork like i tend to draw quickly and and uh i try and create liveries quickly uh i think the first livery i created was a test one for creators club when it was in production and it was uh it was called cheetah speed and it was for the ice train like the 406 i think it was and unfortunately, because it was the ice train, it can't be on uh, Creators Club, so it never got released. But it was um, it was useful for testing because it was uh, a very large livery. It had a lot of layers on it, and it became a large file. And so I kind of I was asked to do uh, more. Okay, I can't see that. Let me move that. Click this button to move it on the top layer. There we go. And then place. Yeah. So I I very much became the kind of person. The, I became the what are we, the Creators Club monkey by making interesting liveries uh, to be experimented on <laughs> by having... Uh, yeah, I'm going to scale it down a little bit, maybe. Ooh, does that work? Sort of. Yeah. And uh, basically whenever Creators Club needed a really, really uh, complex livery, 
to edit the or to practice with uploading and, and testing uh they asked me to make something so yeah that was uh that was pretty fun <laughs> it was pretty fun working uh doing a bit of like testing stuff on creators club uh, i literally was only kind of a, a sub qa person really I, I i did some extra oh no 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 i did some extra um qa testing for creators club uh just reporting bugs and stuff like that uh let me see I can put that behind there okay i feel like the outer rim could do with a dark border i'm gonna make this the dark color and then i'm gonna do that too much? No, it's not too much. And I'm going to take this group. And then this one. And then just to be a bit extra, I'm going to copy. Edit. No, that's place. Oh yeah, it's a group. I keep forgetting I can't change the colour. <laughs> okay. Can you can you ungroup and then can you ungroup it and then change the colours individually and then regroup them again? I don't know actually. I haven't tried ungrouping. Uh I don't think you can, because it's got this... Oh, you can! Wow. JD, where have, have you just, been? <laughs> have I just revolutionised your life? You've revolutionised oh. my life. I did not know that could happen. But I think I have just noticed something. Let me just delete this one, because I think I've just noticed something. This little shape I've made already exists. It's right there. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I just realised I did a mistake. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We're gonna We're going to make this... It's not exactly the same, it's, it's but it, it does look very nice, doesn't it? It yeah. looks similar, yeah, but you, you would have yeah. needed to have done a little bit of work with it anyway. Yeah, so. yeah, I would have needed to done a little bit of work with it. It's fine, yeah, yeah. I definitely <laughs> needed it. Yeah. Um, so I haven't been reading the chat again because I've been way too busy. Mm. It's fine. I can, I can read the chat for you, Kat, if you like. Oh, thank you. You, you concentrate and I'll, I'll ask any questions. If you've got any questions <laughs> for Kat, chuck them into the chat and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll ask them uh, for her. Uh, nothing too difficult, please. Well, I mean, you can ask if you no. want. <laughs> I, I mean, I'll I'll start because um obviously you've 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 come into uh, your new role kind of relatively recently. What have mm. you been working on uh, so far? What's kind of been your 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 major like project that you've been working on so far? So uh, as you probably know, this would be uh, the thing. Uh, main thing I've been working on most of the time has been uh, Bidstack, which is the uh, implementation of real world ads into tsw environments so i think it's a really snazzy project oh god that looks terrible but i think it's a really snazzy project because it means that uh we can have more immersive adverts in game uh and make them look you know really uh, it kind of makes the world look more real and alive and at the same time uh, we earn a bit of ad revenue off of it um not much ad revenue because we've literally only implemented it in core tsw uh, but there are plans to implement it again in future for future routes and releases. So yeah, we're working. We've been working on that, and then on top of that, I've been working on a few other things. Uh, not sure what I can disclose, but uh, there was something else. That absolutely been, nothing. Absolutely nothing I can disclose. I'm afraid. No, don't worry. I'm not gonna. Not gonna. Sorry, chat. Sorry, chat. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cut Secret. this one out right now. Secret um, stuff, I'm afraid. So, Secret project. So, Kat, what's your favourite route to play on TSWT LaserJet? It's, asks. it's definitely uh, West Somerset Railway. And I suppose the main reason being is because it reminds me so much of... What does it remind me of? It reminds me of uh, the railway I used to visit all the time when I was a kid, and that is the North Norfolk Railway. We don't have many heritage railways in TSW, um, but I really, really like them i think they're you know pretty much like yeah west somerset's pretty much my favorite uh when west, i first yeah yeah it's a really it's a really nice route west somerset and i didn't yeah. realize you were north norfolk i didn't realize you were yes in jamie, in jamie territory i was yes well i grew up in norwich and uh my family uh continue i mean we haven't been to norfolk for a couple of years now but we still to this day uh holiday in north norfolk uh that's kind of where that's like our bread and butter of where we go for holidays is north norfolk every year some people jet off to barbados we jet off to north norfolk and uh it's the best uh best place in the world to be honest yeah so i grew up in norwich uh went to the poppy line a lot i think that's where jamie actually uh, volunteers maybe i met him Maybe I met him and I never realised it. <laughs> that but, would be weird, wouldn't it? That would it? be very strange. I mean, he I think he must live near... I mean, I don't know where he lives, but he must live near where we go holidaying because we, we literally do 
Oh, I think I made those white and they should be cream. <gasps> oh no. Um, we, we literally do live near, um, oh, we, we, we used to live near, we used to holiday, sorry, near where, uh, Jamie kind of lives. Uh, cause yeah, I know he always, he takes, he shares pictures on the, uh, group chat or on, you know, teams and stuff of, uh, of the North Norfolk Railway, of the Poppy Line, yeah, of old Black Prince. I don't know what train Black Prince is, but yeah, I've, I've, that's a train that I've kind of grow, grown up seeing. So yeah, West Somerset Railway is definitely my favourite because, um, because it's definitely uh, something that reminds me of, uh, it reminds me of uh, North Norfolk Railway. And I would love to, personally, I'd love to have more heritage rail, but I think uh, the more popular routes are passenger lines by the looks of it, which is cool. Passenger's fun. I, I guess for a lot of people who travel on the railway, they're, they're, they're interested to see, you know, how it works and how it operates uh yeah i think that's a big part of of why tsws is very successful is because uh people are very curious to see how our national rails are kind of how it works and everything so i i really yeah i really find it interesting i think when i first started playing tsw it was definitely what was i playing definitely a lot of german stuff like german passenger stuff because i think that they're very good routes to learn tsw on uh, I'm gonna put very, this very interesting, very interesting entry level routes there. I mean, I, I, German, I would, I would personally class German as the the more challenging of Do you the, think? Uh, yeah, uh, That's well, from from my from my personal experience anyway, the safety systems and all that kind of stuff. Just... Oh yeah, safety systems. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, safety. I forgot about that. Yeah, definitely safety systems. I think. Uh, oh, this looks this looks too much. I think. Um, I think. What do I think? Do I think? Uh, <laughs> do, I, do I know? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I think for the German, what was the like I was using a lot was 185, I think, the DB185. That was the one that I, I think it's the 185 at least. That was the one I really started to learn um, how to drive trains. And simply by, dri by driving trains, I mean, there's, there's kind of a set formula really to a lot of trains i know that i'm not saying that they're all the same definitely not saying that they all work differently but usually in tsw when you jump into a scenario it's usually like okay you need to set the master key set the reverser you can't like do anything else until those two things are done and you got to release the brakes wait for the brakes to charge i think or like the brake brake pressure to go down then you apply the throttle and it should go forward and like nine times out of ten that usually works for me in, in most scenarios but that's because i play the easy scenarios where half the stuff set up for you because i'm on baby mode all the time uh yeah i think i'm gonna group this together now so i basically made my pattern it's, uh, it's very simple as you can see <laughs> just a bunch of layers and uh now that's what i want to do that's impossible to be uh, if i'm being really honest with you it looks like a, it looks like a, a masterpiece to me but there you we think go. oh thank yeah, you I I'm actually going to use your ungrouping method because this needs to be ungrouped. This needs to be ungrouped because now I need to group them all together and you can't group groups together, which uh, I can understand. Another thing to note when you group layers is that it doesn't bring down the layer layer count. So it's not like if you have 10 layers and you're like, oh, I need less layers because I'm putting too many on this loco. It's not like you can just uh, group them together and it makes it into one layer. Um, it still counts those as separate layers. So I'm going to group this. I learned that the hard way when I thought I could cheat the system by having like 4,000 layers on a loco, but if I just group them cleverly. And no. Okay, so now it's done, I hope, I think. Now we can move it, or now we can move it around because it no longer needs to be on the center part. And because I'm not, I mean, there, there is a way of test of changing the projection, but at the same time, it might ruin the look. So I'll, I'll show you what, what I mean. What I'm trying to avoid is the stretching look here. And it kind of comes out on this outer jut. Is that the word? This kind of box here, it, it kind of juts out. And that's that's why it looks like that. The projection is just kind of spilling over it. There is a way to set the projection so you can shorten it. I think, is it that way or is it that way? Yeah, basically you do that. But as you can see, it kind of, it's, it's doing it set to this bit here, which means that basically when you change projection settings by doing this, you kind of delete half of it. So I'm just going to leave that alone. And what I am going to do is just... Uh, oh, no, no, I'm not going to do that. I am going to move it up and over that box and put it there. But yeah, there's some loopholes you have to kind of think about. It depends what loco you're modelling on because uh, obviously this... What I like about this, uh, the Class 08, is that it has this nice kind of canvas here. 
it's, that's what it is it's canvas most trains or carriages at least you know they have uh, lots of windows in the way so you don't get to add anything it does look like an egg though this compass it got a kind of eggy look to it probably should have made it look less egg like but i don't i think it does still look okay and now uh now that's been grouped uh we can now copy it and we can have a little copy of the group and what i like to do is that i like to minimize it mind you it kind of looks a bit funny now but now i like to kind of put it on the doors because i think it looks nice on the doors but now it looks all blurry on the doors never mind but it looks nice from a distance and you know that's all we need to worry about now <laughs> that's a, that's the thing when you make a group or like like a group of or pattern that's too complicated when you scale it down it's naturally going to lose some of it so maybe i could create something similar for the doors but for the sake of time i'll leave it like that for now um and then yes of course we're going to do the whole copy edit p for options makes sense <laughs> change side right and then confirm boom it's on the other it's on the other door now on the same place so nice and nicey uh, another thing i like to do is when i see little dials like this and stuff I want to put something around it. I want to try and make it stand out a bit, like kind of framing the rest of the loco. So if I plus a shape, what shape do I want? Go for a circle. No. Oh. Oh. What's wrong? No, I said star. Oh, star. <laughs> could do a star. We could try a star. When, uh, which is why you're putting that together, Kat. Uh, mm -hmm. There's uh, more of that of uh, milk uh, suggested. Mm -hmm. There's a running theme with with. Uh, with the live streams where we're not particularly good at pronouncing German words. Yep. And uh, they put a couple into the chat. Okay. Uh, so I'll, I want to see how you get on with them and then I'll give them a go. Okay. Uh, so can you see in the chat or uh, mod volkalt vo milk? Uh, or cal yeah. With, without safety systems, the German stuff can be very easy with them, though. You get fun time, fun terms like uh, you know, three know, that yeah. they've listed. What's that? What's the name of the? Uh, sorry, what's the name? Where is it? Where Mod is it? underscore Volokalt Milk. Oh yeah, I see it, I see it. Uh, I was hoping JD to try to pronounce it. I found that one. Oh, okay. Without safety, system, without safety systems, the German stuff can be very easy. With them though, uh, you get fun terms like, oh, I see. Uh, <laughs> we need Simon on here. Sicherheitsfallschaltung. Uh, and then, I'm guessing that's a Van Brensung. Um, punk. I'm oh, not going to say it, punk. Uh, Linian Formid. <laughs> Zunbien Flutsang. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know what? That's, I, I would say that doesn't sound that bad. Do you okay, speak German? <laughs> no, no, not at all. I've done, I've yeah, done, I've done Duolingo a little bit, but other than that, no. Oh, yeah, Duolingo. Uh, yeah. Uh, Bane of my life, that is. I'll give them a go. Without safety systems, the German stuff would be very easy. With them, though, you get fun terms like, fun terms like Sicherheit bar Schaltung, oh, uh, Zwangsbremen, uh, Bremsung and Punk Linien Birmig Zug Bien Flusung. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's how do we do? Who, who won, Cat or JD? So I assume we have some uh, German people in the audience, I hope. One we of our actually, bosses. Yeah, good, that we can actually judge it properly. Because <laughs> we could just be like, yeah, that was alright. <laughs> that sounded fine. What was I going to. I remember when for TS1 we had a root release for TS1 like last year or was it the year before called a uh, Karavankenban but uh it was spelt in the best way possible and that was my favorite route of the year <laughs> <laughs> and that was a third party route as well I think it was a third party route oh yeah, apparently maybe. yeah apparently I I uh, I won apparently I wasn't actually that far off yeah you did sound more authentically german than I did <laughs> I think you did yeah I don't speak any German, mind you, but I, it did sound. So this is an annoying thing. Okay, I'm just trying to like center it on the uh, on the dial. Is that right? Oh, that would do. Does it look okay? Yeah, that 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 would do fine. Okay. I appreciate you putting the star in there. <laughs> Coffee, edit, options, P for options, right? Boom. <gasps> I mirrored it. I actually mirrored it successfully. How did I do that? Look, it's backwards. Oh no. Oh, I actually no. mirrored it when I didn't need to mirror it. <laughs> wait, wait, if I copy edit options, change side, not hit mirror by accident. Yeah, I did mirror it. Oh, that's how you mirror. Okay, now I know. Now I learned something new. 
Learning something new on every stream. That's what we're going to do. I want to put some lining up there, actually. Some uh, rims. Uh, if I can get a rectangle, I think. Shape, 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 shape. Uh, I'm going to find a rectangle at the top with a square. You basically just make a square into a rectangle. Start on the left side. Get a change of colour so it's the same as the framing as the border. And then we're going to put it up here. Gonna scale it down. Ooh. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna put that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's halfway there. Living on a prayer. I don't get copyright strikes. Maybe not. Probably best not sing on here. As if my singing is actually good we, enough to be copyright strikes. <laughs> we we know we know that Twitch is not particularly brilliant with that. Yes, that's, that's so I hear. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've literally I, I used to stream on Twitch uh, with different games and stuff, and uh, I did once. I had a YouTube video playing in the background that had copyrighted music, and Twitch very cleverly cut out the audio only in that part of the stream though, when it was saved on my account, which was I thought was actually kind of impressive. Oh, I didn't need to copy that again. Uh, because it meant that it didn't have to like mute my whole stream. It just muted the part that had that. So I thought that was pretty, that was pretty snazzy. Um, change the side to the right side. Place. Let's just look at what it looks like in the back. Yeah, it's very, going very Hogwarts, I feel. Uh, if I go for the top layer, I think. I'm going to go for a shape. Top. I'm going to put it on the little roof to the cab. I'll uh, we'll make it black, actually. We'll make it like the front so that the front has a complementary colour to it. I think if you're making a train and or making livery, sorry, and you, and you want to try and make it look smart, I would say try sticking to three colours overall. I know I've got like four or five colours in this one, but I think it always looks a bit smarter when you have three colours kind of complementing each other, personally. Uh, let me check actually. So for this one, it literally just kind of would be blue, kind of orangey, beige, and then black. And it, yep, that's overspilled. This is where the projection settings come in handy, though. Whoop, there we go. So you can bring that up there. Basically, shortening the projection setting. Uh, confirm, and then also because I think it's overspilling this rim a little bit, I'm going to move that underneath these two rims that I just made. Place that. There we go. I should be underneath it. Doesn't matter because you can see a little blue spot anyway. But yes, so that's a little kind of roof. It looks a bit more put together now. It looks a bit more presented. Now I just want to add some fancy stars because we like the stars. Um, what I could do is make a very simple. I say simple and then I go nuts, but I can do it left side. We'll make it this color. Minimize a bit and then I'm gonna Nope, we're gonna edit that one. I'm gonna cop nope, not gonna copy. We're gonna get a new one. We're gonna find the outline here. Select, confirm, change colour, maybe change to beige. You can barely change see the difference in that, but and then something else just to try and be extra snazzy. Copy that one. So there's two of these. Edit, change the colour to the dark blue on the base and then now we've got a kind of like yeah even thinner line and then just to be annoying again we're gonna make another one uh just as like a little center dot and then i'm going to group these together group 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 i keep wanting to hit g for group because that's the shortcut in critter and photoshop i think i'm not sure so all right am i going to edit this yes i am i'm going to move it so i want this one to kind of be a smaller frame it's not as detailed like a smaller pattern sorry uh so it can be kind of added onto smaller places like this possibly could have worked better on the door but i like the compass on the door there although no actually i'm gonna leave the compass alone no, leaving the compass alone on there um and now i'm just going to use the kind of frame any small details on there Ah, this is going to be a problem, because that's diagonal. That's diagonally, that is. Oh dear. Okay, <laughs> we're not going to do that one. Uh, we're going to delete that. 
Copy edit. Mind you, there is something we could try, which I haven't actually tried yet, so we might as well try it on the stream. Projection settings, I swear it has a rotation setting. So maybe go to options, projection settings. Oh, that didn't work. No, I don't know what that did, but it didn't 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 work. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh I tried. I tried. We'll leave that alone. Copy, edit. Yes. Now we can move another copy. And I quite like to dot these. So I tend to just hit place when I'm coming to the end of the thing so I can center the camera again. So dip, dip. There we go. Camera centered. I like to do some stars along like this line like I did with the last one. And another little trick I like to do is plus a new shape. Oh, actually, before I do that, go to layers. I'm going to copy this one, edit, move it up. Copy, edit, move it up. Copy, edit, move it up. Uh, and then copy, edit, move it up. And then, actually, I think that last one can be deleted. But just because I'm not sure as to whether they're the same distance, I like to create a very simple rectangle. It can be any colour, so that's fine. Edit it. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Move it over. It really helps set on the shortcuts for the editor. It makes it so much faster. I think same with TSW, though I don't know any of the shortcuts to Well, I know some of the shortcuts to TSW, but I, I literally am the kind of person to use the mouse entirely for driving a train. Uh, and basically what I'm doing, I'm, I'm making a makeshift ruler. So... I place that, zoom in a bit. So now I'm trying to line it up with the bot. Keep zooming out every time. Hang on a minute. So I move it down a little bit. It's tedious. Might be easier with a controller, but I refuse to plug in my controller. I've got a very noisy keyboard for a reason, and I plan on using it. Urgh! Okay, now if I do, that will do. Edit that one, move it to the top. Again, it's moved me away from the camera. And then now that's kind of placed. Edit that one, move it up. So now we can try and make sure that the other one's the same distance. Same ish, at least. This, again, this is where the eyeballing happens. So you have to be clever with the delivery editor. Um, is that the one? Edit yeah, that. It's a great little tip that makes your, makes your ruler's a great tip. It's very useful, I find. Um, I've used it a lot, actually, because. Ah, I ruined my makeshift ruler. I actually know I have it because I can do that. There we go. <laughs> Crisis averted. Yeah, so it, I use this quite a lot because I, I tend, I try to make liveries as neat as possible. Um, I try to. With the dragon liveries, it was more fun. It was more like, oh, it's like an animal, so I can make it all uh, scaly and stuff, and it doesn't matter if all the layers aren't placed properly. Um, but yeah, with this, it's not. Oh, and now these are done. I can't ungroup them, I don't think. Well, I mean, I could try and ungroup them, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate them over to the other side. So I'm going to just go copy, edit, options, change side. This way it can get tricky because you might end up losing track of what you were working on. That's the bottom one. So that's that one. That's that one. Now we're looking at this one. So if I copy, edit, position, change side, place. And then now I should be on this one now, I believe. Copy, edit change side to the right yeah that works cool and uh, now we're gonna go to the last one copy edit forgot what i was doing change side right done yes now i should really kind of move these around so they're in order because right now it's literally just like left right left right left right but i'm gonna leave them alone because i i'm not particularly neat with my with my layers um but yeah now we've got the kind of little stars at the front uh I'm thinking, I know that as soon as I start playing with this, I'm going to put it in game and I'm going to know there's a whole bunch of things I forgot. So I'm just going to, I might add something on the back. I might add one of you on the back. Copy, edit, change size and this time put it on the back. Yeah, that'd be quite cool. So if you're ever moving, if you're ever in reverse, it's nice to have it kind of shown off. Oh, I've got this right. Yeah, there we go. Mm, nice. That's kind of sensitive. Okay. 
I think this is as done as I think it can be done. I like to try and leave it relatively simple. But that's uh that's our that's our what we're gonna call her Bertha maybe. Maybe Let's Bertha. Call Bertha. Let's, Let's call, call her Bertha. Bertha. Hello Bertha. Welcome to the world Bertha. We'll save you, Bertha. <laughs> And well, it's actually called Fancy Stream 08, but we'll call her Bertha. In in our hearts, she is Bertha. Maybe I should when upload we, when Bertha. We, when we upload her to Creators Club, she can oh, yeah. be Bertha. I can upload, but then again, she won't show up as Bertha in people's menus, but she'll be a surprise. Actually, I'll put it in the description that her name is actually Fancy Stream 08. Her name is actually Fancy Stream 08, but we'll call her Bertha. Let's do her that nickname. Her nickname. Her nickname is Bertha. Maybe we should. Uh, yeah, go on. Yeah. Uh, so, so Liam's asked we should have a four-up livery designer competition. Well, that'd be cool. That that would be interesting, actually. Um, we are, I think, the next four-up challenge. We are hoping to do some uh, creators club uh, scenarios and liveries. So um, mm. that might be something that I can pitch to 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 our friend Sam and see if it's something that he's interested in. Um, it could be inter It could be a you get 45 minutes to make something. And mm. you've got to try and you've got to try and oh, I like that idea actually. That'd be a good like idea. idea. I, I, I will I will steal that. that and I will see if see what everybody else's thoughts are on it. <laughs> steal it definitely. I'll be well up for that if uh, you do decide to do it. No one okay. would want to play with you, Cat, because yeah. you just you you'd destroy everybody else and everybody else would just look silly <laughs> in comparison. <laughs> no one wants to play with you. <laughs> 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 but I would be good at it. I'm gonna open the window. Right, uh, okay. Let's hope I can actually drive it. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. We're moving. Oh, hang on. <coughs> now we're moving. We can't move until that's been <laughs> sounded. There we go. Now we're moving. Very slowly. We're, we're barely moving. Right, we're going to move this up. Come on. Come on. I know I'm probably doing something wrong. Ah. Let's get Bertha going. Bertha, come on, Bertha. That's a cute whistle. I like that whistle. Bertha's really struggling, actually. Are we uphill? We're not uphill. What's going on, Bertha? Come on. Now I'm worried I've forgotten something. Now I'm worried that there's a brake on or something. Exhaust the speed up. This is strange. Okay, let me turn off the throttle. That's why I've played this scenario before. And we brought to a halting screech. Let's try again. There we go, that's more like it. Oh, now it's just going too fast. Uh. Okay, now it's <laughs> just going too fast. Right, calm down, Bertha. Calm down. There we go. Okay, I don't know what happened the first time around, but now we're moving. Now we're moving. Properly. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> but we're going to continue moving. Oh, two miles. Okay, that's fine. Do I go over the speed limit? Does Matt go over the speed limit? Or Nat? If, um, Matt, Matt doesn't. Sam does. Oh, Matt does on occasion, actually, but normally he's not paying attention. Uh, Sam, Sam does. Nat definitely did in the four-up challenge. Uh, Jamie Ooh. normally sticks to speed. Yeah. Okay, so the, I, I can imagine Sam doing that definitely. I'm going over speed limit a little bit, but it's, the speed limit's going to go up to 25 miles an hour anyway. I'm not the kind we of want to see Bertha. We want to see Bertha in action. We can forgive this. We want to see her in a in a finest glory. Yeah. See her so. pulling at the very fastest. Come on, Bertha. Let's go. What camera am I on? Oh, there we go. I thought it was on like a weird outside camera. I'm gonna position the camera so we can... Let's be train spotters for a bit. Oh, Bertha's speeding. That's fine. It's fine, Bertha's fine. There she is. Let's chase her around the other side. <laughs> ah! There she goes. Try not to get hit by a car whilst I'm up here. Mind you, it's just the camera, so it's fine. I like that camera. I like camera number eight. Okay, I'm gonna turn down the thought a little, little bit. We're nearly out of speed limit. It's fine. It's fine. No, no, no one can see your UI anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, exactly. There you go. I like doing shots like that. That's nice. There she goes. I'm actually curious to see basically, what... It's basically a fashion show for Bertha, isn't it? It is. This is her runway. This is a fashion show. That's a great way of putting it. Look at Bertha's new outfit. She looks amazing. See how pixelated that is. Oh dear. Yeah, that's what happens when you get like a really big kind of piece like this and you scale it down. I probably should have used something smaller like these stars. 
because they've scaled down a little bit, but it's not too bad. Not noticeable. From a distance, you, you can barely see it because you're in a tree, so you can't see it at all. But if you go from a distance, you'll be able to. Yeah. Oh, now we can go up. Speed limit's gone up. Let's go. Full throttle. <laughs> Let's go. This was all created in about 40 minutes, which is pretty impressive, I think. 40 minutes, was it? Oh, it's cool. Well, I think nice. it might, might, be less, it might be a bit less than that, actually. Nice. The little preamble that we had at the start. Mm. When I first started learning livery, it, was a, it literally, I literally spent about three or four hours doing a livery. And it wasn't like the livery was really impressive. It was literally just because I kept making mistakes or I found ways that I did, I took really long ways of doing things. So the more practice I've had, the more kind of uh, the, the lot, a lot. I found out a lot more quicker and shortcut methods. A bit like with the ruler shortcut and getting this gradient and stuff. Kind of grouping as well, grouping layers and kind of getting patterns and stuff. That's that's pretty cool. There's still a lot of things on Living Editor that I'm not really sure how to do. Like I've seen uh, there was someone who made a wagon for Ukraine and it had the flag of Ukraine on it but the flag had this great uh, like shadow and light texture on it so it looked 3D and they also had a dove on top of it and I don't know how they did that they must have I don't know maybe there was a mastery challenge that had a flag texture on it or something but they, they did a pretty great job on that and I'm trying to work out how they did it I quite like that I quite like being able to look at someone's work and try and guess how they did it or, or work out how they did it because then I can try it myself let's take a look have we got any people on this train? No, we don't. It's an empty. Oh, okay. We're taking it to get. We're, we're gonna. We're gonna get some passengers down here. I think this is a very short scenario, mind you. I'm pretty sure this is one where you go to a station, uh, load passengers, and I think that's when the scenario ends. I don't know. Can you remember? Can't see the speed limit. Oh, yeah. We're going uphill, so it should be naturally slowing down anyway. I need to get there by 11. Okay, we'll be there in plenty of time because we sped half the way. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> not going not gonna to be late. Be nice and early. Nobody's going to complain about that. Yeah, I don't complain at all. There you go. So, what should, should, so once we've done, once we've uh, stopped off at uh, Bishop, uh, Bishop Lydid, Lydid, I think that's how you, is that right? Lydid? Yeah. Lydid? Should Lydid. we get it uploaded to Creators Club yes. and then I can feature it live and then if anybody wants to download it, they can? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Oh, I'll definitely put the uh, livery name, the actual, because the actual livery name is Fantasy Stream 08, and so it's not going to show up in your livery list as just Bertha. It would just be that. Um, I think I, I always try and come up with creative livery names. I had to, as one of the tests for when we were making Creators Club, uh, one of the tests I tried to do was I downloaded a mod for TSW that had uh, a bunch of brands on it, like logos and licenses and stuff. I'm going to turn off the throttle turn it down me. And um, basically I downloaded this mod and then I covered a livery full of these uh, logos. And what we wanted to do is that we wanted to upload it to the Creators Club to see what these modded logos look like when uploaded. Like will they show up and if they do that might be some licensing problems. So that's what the point of the test was. Uh, and I made this uh, logo, I think it was well, livery for, I think it was an SD40. And it was literally just blue and covered in like a hundred different logos, like CSX, DB, uh, where we have like brands with them, mind you, uh, maybe National Rail, other stuff like that. Tesco, I think, was one of them. And then I uploaded it to the beta or the, the Creators Club that was being created like in like preview core. And I, call, I called the livery Russell Brand, and I'm very happy with that one. <laughs> I was very happy with Russell Brand. And I think Russell Brand actually showed up in one of Matt's streams because uh, it actually turned out that the logos don't show up and just the base colour of the train shows up. So it just turns up as a blank baby blue SD40. Uh, Matt was once playing TSW, Sandpatch Grade, and it was like in the background a blue SD40. And I was like, that's Russell Brand! Because <laughs> I know, I know he, he downloaded it to see if it would look, uh, work, but... Yeah, no, we're very glad it, it did work. Very glad that the brands didn't show up. Otherwise, uh, we'd have a lot of letters from licensing. Just be like, we can't do this, you know. We haven't got these logos featured. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, that was, they weren't all right. Yeah, so a lot of fun. Definitely a lot of fun testing out Creators Club. Uh, creating lots of liveries. But yeah, I haven't been on the livery editor as much lately. I'm just a hobbyist, really, for work. Um, yeah, not so much. 
We're working a lot on Bidstack. Something that's quite fun about Bidstack is that I've got to try and pick out placements to put Bidstack ads in routes. So I get to go into kind of debug mode and literally fly around different routes as they're being built. I get to see like a great, I get to see lots of, um, a lot more of the route from literally flying around it, not just on a train, but literally flying around it just to see where I can put bid stack ads just the same time. And it is really cool doing that because I like seeing how the environment team are progressing with, with um, the routes that we got in production. So yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun doing that. She doesn't need to stop the passengers. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> just to challenge you in and that, just go through and meet past the station. <laughs> just ignore the stations, you know. <laughs> 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 what are they even there for? Yeah. Yeah. I was there and uh, I think I braked a little too late. That only one door from the carriages was actually on the platform and the rest of them were like in front of the platform that you couldn't access. And I opened the door to see if it would work and sure enough it just loaded passengers like usual. I was like, yep, that's good. <laughs> All in the day's work, on you get, on that one door, and then you can all just walk up and find your seats. I always get a bit nervous when I'm travelling on the train and then the announcement comes over and says, oh, this is a short platform, make sure you're in the right carriage so you can get off the train. And you kind of panic and you all run to the front of the train to make sure you can get <laughs> off in the right place. Are we going to go? The, the more stressful one is the front, yeah, they say the front, front three carriages are going off in a different direction. Yeah. Uh, and uh, well, the front one not. Oh, One, yeah. two, three, and four. Okay, fine, thank you. I get that a lot with, um, was it the train to get down to Canterbury? Because, uh, yeah, it splits from Rochester to Canterbury, it splits at Faversham, so half of it goes to Ramsgate, I think, the other half. Uh, it continues on to Canterbury and then Dover Priory. And yeah, I always get a paranoid, you go on, and it's like, oh, this train was split at Faversham, make sure you're the right part of the train. And, oh, for goodness sake, <laughs> can't <laughs> find it. But, yeah. I do get paranoid by that. This is such a pretty route. I've always liked this route. I've got to... I've got settings. Oh! Another little job I had uh, in my role. It's a very bizarre one. I basically had to find out what all of our TSW settings do uh, as part of uh, a future project I had to kind of work out. And there's some settings in here I admittedly didn't, um, didn't know about. Um, so I didn't know we had an, a setting to control camera motion sway. Uh, oh, I didn't want to restart by accident. That would have been an absolute disaster. <laughs> you can literally turn off the motion. Oh, actually, I'll show you what it's like on. So you can see that... Well, you can't actually see it. Oh, is it on? I thought it was on. Basically, the train's meant to kind of rock a little bit with, with, how, with the motion sway. And that's what that setting is for, is literally to turn it up. It should be on. It was It was doing it when, maybe it's because we're going uphill or something. It's just kind of calmed down. But yeah, there's all these settings and I should technically know what they all do. But I don't know off the top of my head, but I just thought that was quite a cool one. Just control the camera motion this way. Oh, yeah, there are, lots, there, are, there are lots of things within the settings that I would imagine that a lot of, uh, a lot of people perhaps don't even ever look at. But are actually quite yeah. interesting and perhaps change the experience, your experience. So have a little play around with it. Say you're home and uh, you have no chance to take a look at it. There's some interesting things in there. Yeah, no, definitely. There's, there was one, uh, oof, is it advanced settings? Or is it screen? We have something called crosshair, which is literally the little dot that you see shows up in your visibility. So if I apply that, you can now see there's a dot in the middle of the vision. And I personally don't really like that dot. It's, it, by default, it's, it's like a lot less uh, severe. So I'll, I'll get off this. Oh, wait, is it? Actually, it's kind of easier having the dot, mind you, but yeah. It's meant to be for um, uh, visually uh, visual impairment. It's meant to be more yeah. easy to be able to, to use it there, uh, the kind of blind. Uh, yeah. Visually impaired, which is quite good for like, accessibility features. Yeah, definitely. And it also um, it's very useful when you're on a loco that's quite complicated to have loads of different uh, switches and stuff. It helps you to literally choose right ones by selecting them. It's kind of hard to determine. Oh, I better slow down. 
Bertha, slow down. Bertha doesn't need to stop. Bertha, <laughs> she needs. <laughs> she doesn't stop for no man. <laughs> Mind, you need to give her a wide berth. Ah. Uh. There. <laughs> wide Bertha. Okay, now she's slowing down too much. I don't like this. Right, speed up, go on. Put your back into it. Go. Okay, so it's 10 miles an hour. Yeah, about 100 yards. And we're already under the speed limit. Yeah, it's fine. I don't know what I was paranoid about. Okay, we better warn them we're coming. Better sound the horn. <coughs> no, joking. The real one. There we go. Where is the horn in the cab? So this one, isn't it? Yeah. You've got a, uh, you've got a minute and a half to get there on time. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh, come on. A minute and a half to get to that little spot over there. Yeah, that'd be fine. That'd be fine. Last little bit. I think it's because we're going uphill, isn't it? Well, we haven't going 10 miles an hour as well. I don't think it particularly helps, but. No, oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> speed up a little bit just to. Oh, well, now, I'm well, now you can see the now you can see the train like uh, shaking around a bit. Okay, so when it goes onto another track, then it kind of shakes a little bit. Yeah, there you go. A little bit of shake. There we go. Yeah. I'm not seeing things. It actually exists. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, so now I need to. Power down the throttle. Let it just slow down in its own time. It should slow down naturally because it's on a, in, uh, it's on a decline, decline, incline, incline. It's incline. on a hill, incline. It's on a hill. That basically does it. I can't break the radius. Oh God, that break got thirty point. seconds. Thirty seconds, cat. Oh my gosh, I thought I had more time. Do I have thirty seconds? I think I got fifteen. <gasps> Right, speed it up. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. <laughs> three. Two. One. Ah, I'm late. We're already going to have people like wanting to refund tickets and stuff now. Right. Oh, I didn't mean to put emergency. Well, that was a mistake. I thought so. That was fine. It's an emergency. We need to get there right on time right now. Ooh, nearly. Oh, maybe. On the green? Yeah, just about. There we go. Unlock the doors. I always find it funny with, with Somerset Railway because they're not electronic doors. So I was really confused the first time for this task. But I think if you could just open one, uh, literally loads of passengers and they will just get on on the train magically because of one. But I know what I'll do. I'll just uh, I'll just sit down and I'll use the shortcut, which I think is U for the right doors. No, that shut that door. That didn't help. Did they all open there? There they go. They all open now. On you get. You got a train to catch. Come on. That's not like it's a commuter train, mind you. <laughs> That'd be quite funny. There was a time when uh, my when we were living in no, not living in Norfolk. When my parents were thinking of moving back to Norfolk, and I was interested in going to uh, Norwich University. There was a oh I've got a walk first mile. There was a time where uh, we were trying to consider we were trying to work out the logistics of if my parents lived in Holt, how would I get to Norwich? And uh, my dad was literally like, oh, you get the train. And I'm like, you mean the heritage train to <laughs> showing him and then showing him to Norwich. Like, you, I literally be, have the heritage train as part of my commute. That would be quite fun. Because they can't do that. It's like a 30 quid a ticket. <laughs> but yes. Holt, Holt is lovely, though. Holt is Isn't really it? nice. You've been there. Oh, yeah, I love Holt. I've, yeah. been there, I've stayed in Holt before. Uh, I've been to North, mm. yeah, North Norfolk is wonderful. Uh, yeah, and, uh, agreed. Yeah, I mean, gone there many, many times for, for holidays and stuff. So, yeah, yeah. Sheringham, Cromer, yeah. Holt, Blakely? Kelling, wonderful. Blakeney. Kelling, yes. Have you been to, there's a campsite called Kelling Heath that we go to a I've lot. been there many times, yeah. many times. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? It's right by the yeah. um, railway, too. It's right by yeah. North Norfolk the railway. The railway goes through the back of it, I think. It does, actually. yeah. There's a... There's there's the back. There's a station there. Well, it's not like a station. It's like a platform at the bottom of the hill. And the steam train doesn't stop there, but the diesel does. And you can literally get picked up there and be taken to Holt or to Weybourne. So you can literally just walk from... And you can also walk to Weybourne from there. Yeah, it's a really nice uh, nice part of the part of the country. I am going to upload a mod. And that yep. mod is going to be a lot of these fancy streamer 8 Bertha. We'll call her Bertha. Basically, we need to organise a dovetail trip to the uh, the Heritage Railway. I think is basically That'd what, what we're hearing idea. here. Which Heritage Railway are we going to? The North Norfolk one. Oh, North Norfolk. Oh, and J North Jamie Norfolk. can be Jamie. Jamie can be our sh our chaperone. He and, can. And we can we can we can have a, a gay old time. 
I would love to bit go to North Norfolk again. Absolutely love it. And red diesel, isn't it? I'm gonna just call it that for now. Locomotive. There we go. Well, there is a, there is a big Bertha oh. already on uh, on Creators Club. I've just taken a quick look. That's a big Bertha though. Also, it I just realised we have no screenshots. Oh yeah. Oh, we had we had plenty time. of time to take some screenshots. I had didn't loads we? of <laughs> times and I forgot to take a screen. All right, let me just literally load in just to literally take a screenshot. We'll do we'll do the same one and just literally not play through it, but just take a couple of screenshots. What's the shortcut for screenshots again? It's F10 for. I think it's F10. Yeah, I think it's F10 for Dove's I just realised that I took I took my keyboard into work yesterday into the yeah. office. And in trying to stuff it back into my bag, I've now lost my F10 and my F11 key. So Have I can't you? take the screen now. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no, that didn't do it. Okay, I'm not sure. Is it Shift? Shift F10? Alt F10? Oh, there we go. It's Control F10. Uh, actually, I'm going to retake that one. <laughs> uh, hang on a minute. Okay. So your keys actually fell out. And by your keys, I mean your... Um... Yep. Yeah. I have I'm missing F ten and F eleven at the moment. From your what is it, a keyboard, not a laptop, okay. That's one thing. Yeah. Uh, ooh, that's a funky noise. I'm trying to just get maybe four. Uh was it F ten? Yeah, it was F ten. How did I forget that so quickly? Do you want just a side? Okay, she just And then one more for good luck. Just like that. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. I ain't a photographer, but that'll do. There we go. Now, now we can upload Bertha properly. Liveries. Nope, my mods. Is it this one? Okay. I don't think it saved any of the details I was working on, so it's fine. Uh, let's just edit this content name. Bertha. There's a big Bertha on there, but this is little Bertha, so we'll just call that Bertha for now. Baby Bertha. Baby Bertha. Oh, yeah, that actually sounds pretty good. Okay, maybe Baby Bertha. Baby oh, Bertha. Oh, my, my fingers are poised to feature it on Creators Club, so. Oh, if sorry. Everybody, if everybody is, uh, if everybody wants to get Bertha uh, on WSR, then they are more than welcome to answer this, and it'll be featured. Nice. That'd be great. Um. Fancy stream 08. Just call it that. There we go. So it actually called that. And livery for us. Oh, wait. I don't really go over the top with my descriptions. It'd be nice. I to, should try something more interesting. Maybe poetry. Maybe some improv. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that. I like that first one. There we go. Uh, we're going to submit. Baby Bertha, let's go. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Accept and publish. Not read it, of course. Who reads it? View the mod. Okay, so she should be uploaded. Let's have a look. Should be. Hang on a minute. Let me go back to now and go to my mods. Also go to my mods. I've seen Baby Bertha. It's got one subscriber already. Hooray! Thank you to that one subscriber. <laughs> Huzzah. We've got Baby Bertha. She's out there. She's now a star. Yep would help if I was logged in uh, to be able to actually then feature it. That would help. <laughs> yeah, and now she's go. a star. Now she's going to be She's famous. now featured on Creators Club, everybody. So <laughs> if you would like to go in there and subscribe and have a go with birth to yourself, then <laughs> you can mm. absolutely do that. But I'm just going to double check that it's in the featured. Might check if it's... There we go. Yeah, we now have two subscribers. Ooh. And uh, baby Bertha is now she is. on the featured reel. Oh, she's on most recent on mine. I have a, well, I mean, it might. Ah, oh, there she is. Yeah. Hey, that's an unbelievable power that you have. Just to, like, feature kind of... I have the, I do have the power to be able to do this. You so uh, if anybody would like to bribe me with sweet treats and, uh, yeah. and, and German pronunciation, uh, we are, uh, I would, I would happily feature some, uh, some 
of your liveries just give it i, I mean i'm bit, in all seriousness though we do all, always look for new cool liveries to be able to sh uh, feature we do try and uh, change up the featured locos every uh every week so if there's anything that you really like the look of or think that really cool um then we'd love to see what they uh we love to see the fit them featured and i try not to choose the most popular ones because you can just see the most popular ones below yeah um we want to try and make sure that we we give some the spotlight to some ones that maybe otherwise might not would not get the option of doing so yeah definitely yeah it's a lot of cool. fun looking through these uh but yeah i think uh i think that's I, I will, i'm happy to call that a night on the stream i have to say it's been a lot of fun uh thank you guys for having me as a guest it's been it's been great um it's nice to see everyone in the community it's nice to talk to you james i hope that you're okay sorry jd sorry i hope you're okay <laughs> everyone knows everyone knows everyone knows my name anyway it's fine uh but yeah it's great to have you cat thank you very much for joining us on the stream and uh, i hope you enjoyed your first uh, first foray into uh the stream uh, streaming uh, roster for uh, for Dovetail. We hope we get you on again soon. We we should be able to get you on for maybe another livery designing uh, stream, yeah. maybe next month. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I got talking to Chris earlier about a couple of things that might be coming up. So yeah, that'd be great. Cool. Awesome. All right. All right. Great. Thanks, Kat. Thanks very much. Uh, enjoy your evening, and uh, thank you very much, everybody at home, for watching. Hope you enjoyed that, and remember to subscribe to Big Bertha or Little. Sorry, Little Bertha. Little Bertha. Baby Bertha. Bertha. Yes, baby, Bertha, Bertha, baby Bertha. We'll plug in the other one. Big Bertha, go on, go find Big Bertha too. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys. Uh, thank you guys for joining. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll finish up the stream now then. All right. Oh, one more. <coughs> all right. All aboard. All, all off.